Alright, so getting back to Yosei again. Last episode we talked to these two. Great. And it didn't really lead anywhere. A couple of things which might be important later. Well, let's see. I probably won't remember them unless it tells me here. Which, <laughs> it's just two things. The same two <laughs> things you had the whole time. He didn't even write about the squirrel. I never, <laughs> yeah, the important stuff. I never referred to it in the other games. Now in this game, it's not really saying much. One of the mountains from nearby, some local scenery, a photo from a nearby forest, and a Japanese resort. Oh, we actually vacationed there a long time ago. That's odd. My family. Our foster family? That is very We're weird. An, an orphanage, right? Yeah. The whole orphanage went there? Well, maybe mm -hmm. his foster family. But he was never adopted, was he? He was just at the orphanage, and they got taken in by the police, right? But his he did go through different foster families. Oh, okay. Yeah. I missed some of the stuff, and obviously I don't remember. Books, books, books. Books, books, books. I don't know. I'm not going to click on all these, because I think it's just... I'll just double check. Criminal psychology, yeah. Okay. More books. They're David's. Worn notebooks. Looks like Nathan's. Hmm. Worn. There's significance to that? I, I don't, don't know. know. Let's get out of here to the main map. Oh, now we're back here. Okay. Where do you want to go next? Mm, we check the, the library was so boring. We check the bell tower, see if there's anything else there. Are we allowed to go in? Let's find out. And that's as far as you go. Oh, you. <laughs> to answer your question, Detective Gursky quickly positions himself between me and the bell tower. You're in guard duty? Seems kind of dull for someone of your status. <laughs> Life isn't always about what's fun. That much I know. So what are you doing here? Investigating, like you told me to. Well, you can't do it here. Crime scene is closed. You're kind of tying my hands here. I told you to dig into his research. Besides, haven't you had enough trauma here already? Oh, don't push me, buddy. Don't tell me you're trying to protect me. Protect and serve. It's all <laughs> like that's my job or something. Oh, clever. Ha ha. That's not actually in the job description, is it? It doesn't matter. I still do it. Huh. Anyway, if I can't go inside, I guess I'll just go. You're welcome to look around. Just don't cross the police line. Oh, okay. I should probably get back to the lab anyway. If I follow our original assignment, I might be able to find a thread. Look, you original can totally assignment? go around the police line next to the car. <laughs> I'm not technically crossing it there. <laughs> yeah, figure out what Mr. Rotten was up to. Up to? Seems like all of his business affairs were in order. Seems like, mm. but probably wasn't. He may have been doing a little more on the side. If you know what I mean. We searched his house pretty thoroughly, but they couldn't find anything that we didn't already know about. Well, you guys suck. Um, before we left, I swiped the hidden SD card with some of Auten's files on it. None of us had been able to decipher the contents on the file, but Aki insisted that we keep my find a secret. Now would be a good time to tell me if you know anything. Oh, well. Maybe we shouldn't have ummed. Clever. All right, let's go tell him. Yeah, we should just tell him. Who cares? I may have possibly picked up something from Mr. On's place. Detective Gursky groans. You took evidence from the crime scene. Well... More like borrowed. Um, yeah? He shakes his head. Aki's rubbing off on you. <laughs> well, okay. not quite. Hey, I didn't exactly know who to trust, okay? You still don't trust me? No, I do. That's why we're telling you. You're my handler. How do I know? You're not reporting all my dirty secrets to a board of men in black suits sitting in a dark room. Really? I usually give the reports on casual Friday, so no black suits. Oh, oh har. har har. Hilarious. If I tell you I'm not, would you believe me? I yeah, trust him. I guess. What about if I remind you that I still haven't arrested you yet? But what have Isn't we done to be orders? arrested? Okay, but... And that I didn't tell Schultz that I saw you pocket something at Mr. Otten's place right before oh, that mess with Kevin. Oh, so you saw it. Wait, you knew. Of course I knew. It is my job to notice these things. I thought we did that before he came in. I, yeah, he said before. Yeah, but he, was, he wasn't in there at the time, oh, was oh, he? Oh, Gursky, I don't know. But he noticed. Maybe he's watching us on the cameras. Oh, I guess that's possible. He could have been in Kevin's room watching us. Why didn't you say anything about it? 
actually, I think I just did. But wasn't it off- Oh my god, shut up. Wasn't it off camera? That's the reason why we couldn't see the vault in the first place. All right, secret. Gursky has a special camera. He has a special camera. <laughs> then again, I might just be getting the timelines confused, because like- That is true. It I played am played out differently in different versions, so. So what was it? <laughs> An SD card. Mostly a bunch of documents and formulas that we couldn't decipher. Documents you'll be handing over to the proper authorities, I'm sure. Of course, after proper review. Uh, yeah. I was definitely going to get around to that at some point. What else? He also had the video from today. The one of you breaking into the lab? Yep, that would be the one. I cough pointedly. Right, the one of someone who looks like you breaking into the lab. Come on, you know it's not me. Yeah, that one. I don't know how he got it, though. Didn't Jupiter say that hardly anyone has a clearance to the security tapes? Well, Mr. Auten is pretty prominent. I'm sure he could get his hands on it somehow. I don't doubt Dr. Johansson had that level of clearance. If Dr. Johansson is the one who sent the video to Mr. Auten, then that confirms the video is linked to their old research. But that doesn't explain how it's linked, or who that person is. Well, I kind of hope we'd be able to ask the good doctor about that. Gursky's expression darkens. If I were the paranoid type, I'd be inclined to say that someone is trying to stop you from getting answers. Hmm. And are you the paranoid type? If I were, I wouldn't tell you. Uh. Fair enough. So you basically came here to dig through Dr. Johansson's research and possibly find out what else Mr. Auden was working on. That's the idea, yeah. Aki set us up with some sort of high school student program where we get to experience college life, or something like that. But when we got here, Naoki sensed that something was wrong. I thought it was nothing, but... It's never nothing. Yeah, that's the theme, isn't it? I know that now. Anyway, he sensed something was wrong. We found the body in the tower, and you probably know the rest. More or less. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to return to the crime scene. Yeah, I should probably get going. Keep me updated. I guess we talked to him a little bit more. Yeah. Was that really Dr. Johansson in the bell tower? Sure was. They haven't, um, reconstructed everything yet, but they did manage to match one of his remaining prints. Unless he created a clone of himself and faked his own death. Any prints not his? A few here and there, but I'm not optimistic. Nothing that looks like it was left by the killer. Great. Another dead end. Um, I didn't mean it like that. And that's all I've got for now. Don't wander off. You just told me to wander off. <laughs> Go bugger off. Nope, now come back. Oh, so we got something over here. Well, we, we knew that knew ages that. ago. Why is it added now? We could look around. That's a police car. Can we look at the building without crossing the line? Click on the gap. The doors are shut. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Looking at the top, nothing. The police line doesn't do anything. And we can't do anything about that gap. <laughs> it's just so obvious. Moving on. Well, so I could... guess we should go to the biology building? Yeah, I was going to say, we could go to the biology building like we're supposed to, but I feel like that'll just advance things along. So go to the student union? That's what I kind of want to do, just get a good look around. Maybe we'll see Chip and Chance. Maybe. But then again, I'm kind of worried, because in the other game, after a certain amount of time passed, it just ended automatically like that one time when we were doing the SD card, remember? That's true. So I hope it doesn't happen in this game, but that's why I've been saving. So, we'll see. Morning, con guy. I hope you slept well. Shut up, Chip. Oh, not you. Chip waves at me from across the room, his arms making broad sweeping motions above his head. Yeah, it was okay, I guess. Was there anything you wanted to do today? Anything you wanted to try? Punching you? you in the face. What happened to, uh, Chance anyway? Um, not really. I thought I'd just wander around the campus and talk to people. You don't want to sit in on any classes or anything? Right, class. That's a thing I'm supposed to care about. Oh, well, I guess I might do that. No pressure, man. Just a suggestion. After all, this is supposed to be your experience, so experience it however you want. Thank you, and I will. Oh, um, except for the bell tower. That's off limits for now. We know. Yeah. There was an accident there last night. 
I heard that someone died. Does this happen often? What? No. <laughs> I swear this has never happened before. Yeah, I don't think it would happen often. Man, you've got to be going through the worst college experience ever. <laughs> First you're nearly arrested, then someone dies? I don't know. I think it's a really accurate representation. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You don't let anything get you down, do you? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, sure. So, did you have anything else you wanted to know about? No, not really. I don't think he can really help us. Where's your girlfriend? That is a question I want to ask, but unfortunately I can't. Do you know anything about Dr. Johansson? He's old. Wow. He's dead. Besides that... He's brilliant. Did you know that the military hired him for a top secret project about 20 years ago? I've heard something along that line. It's not very secret if you're telling me about it. Chip lets out a hearty laugh and leans forward, resting his arms on the table. <laughs> Good point. No one knows what it was about, but my parents were students here at the time. Really? Hmm, does that mean he might have one too? Possibly? Did they work on the project? Nah, they weren't even bio majors. But when people in military uniforms keep going in and out of the biology building, people notice. Not so subtle, huh? Yeah, not so much. Sure makes you wonder what it was all about. My money's on viral warfare. Sure. I wince at the thought. Hopefully not. But that's all in the past. These days, the university's focused more on sustainability than military. Yeah, well, we'll see, I suppose. Sustainability. Yeah. Renewable energy, small carbon footprint, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Good I don't stuff. know if you noticed, but we've got a fleet of bikes placed around campus. Any student can use them. Hmm. A fleet. Just can so we funny. use them? It reduces the need for driving between this campus and the main one. Plus, it's a good workout. How generous. Chip laughs nervously. <laughs> that's what they tell me. <laughs> what does Who? that mean? I guess that's it. Feel free to come by anytime. Thank you. Okay, here's Naoki. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm coping. That doesn't sound too positive. You sure you shouldn't still be back at the room resting? If I stay locked up thinking about it, it'll just get worse. So you're hanging out with Chip, of all people? I'm not sure that'll help. It may not be my say, but I can still feel Aaron's emotions when I'm near. Really? I have to be here, around people with more positive emotions. Hmm, yeah, maybe he's just remembering what his emotions were? I don't know. Having bright memories will help balance the darker ones. Well, Chip is full of brightness. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess you came to the right guy. How I feel is a culmination of my experiences, so I have to keep filling my life with positive things. I think that's pretty much true for most people. Really? So do you watch horror movies or anything? No, not really. They've never really held much interest for me, though. I've seen enough terrible things in real life. There's no need for me to watch it as entertainment. Well, there's special effects. <laughs> Are you okay with talking about what happened, then? I don't want... I don't want to have to bring up bad memories. The memories are always there, and I'd like to do what I can to help. Alright, then. I don't want to have to hide all the time. Aki said you guys had a rough time with your father. That's putting it lightly. Sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any bad memories. You can't bring up any memories. They're always in my mind. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I simply am who I am. When our mother died, our father didn't handle it too well. He took to drinking, and eventually it was all he knew how to do. All that pent-up rage of his had to go somewhere. And you bore the brunt of it? I did. At least until Aki discovered her kansei. Aha. Uh -huh. She wasn't strong enough to stop him, but she managed to redirect his anger. To her. Redirect it? To whom? Who else was there? I'm so sorry. Aki's proud. She tries to carry the weight of everyone on her own shoulders. Even back then, she never wanted to accept help from anyone. So, I went to one of the teachers at school in secret, begged her for help. The teacher called Child Protective Services, but they wouldn't let us stay together. So we ran away. Just like that. 
Of course. Wouldn't you have done the same thing? Yeah, I think I would. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. Why are you telling me this? It's kind of a personal story, isn't it? Isn't it obvious? It's because you're family. Oh, here we go again. Oh, we're family. Guess we're in. Just like that. What? You're living with us now, aren't you? Well, yeah, but I didn't think... You don't plan on staying with us? Oh god. Well, we really oh god. didn't think that far ahead. I... I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Well, you should. Alright, well... We'll take it into account. Aki and I thought we'd be running forever. Same goes for Lee Mei. But it turns out we like having a home and a family. It's less lonely. Any idea who killed Dr. Johansson? It's hard to say. I don't really know much about the outside circumstances. But you remember the crime scene. Anything important you can think of? The door to the bell tower was locked, and my car didn't work on it. Aaron had to let me in. So only an actual student of the school could get in there. Now he nods. And then Aaron went up the stairs first. I almost tripped over him at the top when he found the body. The blood was still pooling. It hadn't coagulated at all, so... Oh, lovely. Now he swallows as he realizes the meaning of his words. That means that when the bell destroyed his body, he was still alive. But it doesn't look like he was trying to get out of the way at all. Hmm. He must have been unconscious when it happened. I sure hope so. Well, I guess that's it Gruesome. for now. That's all for now. Okay. Alright. So I guess that's all for now. Yep, and the next one will have to go to the biology building. <laughs> yeah, but I think we look around here a little bit more first. I think there's some additional rooms, right? Let me just check. Yeah, there's two different ways we can go, so we'll All find right out then. next time. Bye.